Hi guys, it's Grace with Grace Gets Gastric. Today is Tuesday, December 31st, 2019, and I'm here today for my one year, 52 week post-op VSG update. So to start us off with stats again, my name is Grace. I'm 5'8", 29 years old, and on January 2nd, 2018, I had the vertical sleeve gastrectomy or VSG weight loss surgery. My highest weight ever recorded was 354 pounds in May of 2017, and I was required by my insurance to do a six month medically supervised weight loss diet. And over the course of that six months, I lost 35 pounds. So my starting weight day of surgery was 319 pounds. Last week, I came into the weight of 201.7, and this morning I weighed in at 203.2. So that is a weekly gain of 1.5 pounds, a loss in surgery of 115.8 pounds, and a loss since my highest weight of 150.8 pounds. <laughs> you know, it's not fun coming at you guys week after week with gains. Um, and I know that it is it is a worrying trend <laughs> that I am going to work on getting under control. Like I told you guys last week, uh, I was not committing to losing any weight this last week, and I did not. <laughs> uh, I'm not surprised. I drank um, not a ton, but, you know, a couple of glasses of wine and um, definitely just had way more cookies than I should have. Y'all know, and I've talked about it before, cookies are really a trigger for me. And uh, it has been, unfortunately, very difficult for me to uh, put myself in cookie-free situations. And I know that is something that is that I need to be working on. Uh, and if I can get a therapist to respond to my emails, then maybe I will someday. Um, but, uh, you know, I, don't, I generally don't keep cookies in the house. And so that is generally fine. But uh, I can't control my work environment. I can't control my home environment when I when I visited my parents this weekend um there were a lot of and they you know they're all my favorite cookies from growing up and so yes <laughs> I had a lot of those and part of the problem is that uh they are somewhat of a slider food so I can eat quite a few of them <laughs> before getting full and especially if I'm grazing on them throughout the day which is generally what I'm doing I'm not just sitting and binging on like 18 cookies but uh I am you know every hour every half hour grabbing a cookie that adds up so yes <laughs> not surprised um, I, I actually did, it, and night, night eating is still a thing for me. You know, I, I generally tend to do very well during the day. And then, uh, during the nighttime, my, my self-control just sort of goes out the window. Uh, but yesterday I was really proud of myself. I had like a perfect eating day yesterday. I stayed exactly on plan. I think I ended, I ended up eating like half an ounce of cheese more than I planned, but, uh, I, I accounted for it in my fitness pal and I'm okay with that. <laughs> It was cheese. So in the scheme of things, not too bad. Uh, and really, I am buckling down uh, starting tomorrow. <laughs> you know, I hate I hate to do that. But like, just realistically, uh, today is New Year's Eve. Happy New Year's Eve to all of you guys. Um, and again, I am not planning to go crazy in terms of my eating, but uh, I am going to be drinking. And it's not going to be a ton because uh, I do have surgery, plastic surgery, in a month. And they generally recommend that you stop drinking about a month before surgery. Uh, I am not concerned about having some drinks a month, like right at that month mark, especially because I am not a habitual drinker. Um, and then after tonight, I will not have any more alcohol until a very long time from now. <laughs> so I'm not really concerned. I'm definitely not planning on going super hard. I'm hanging out. I'm going, I'm driving up home up north where I grew up. Uh, my parents no longer live there, but a lot of, of my friends from high school are either there or visiting from um, from where they live. And so I'm going up there to um, spend some time with some of my very close friends from high school. And uh, none of us are are ragers, you know? So uh, we're, you know, we're gonna go to a bar, we're gonna have some drinks. Uh, I am going to, um, I've told myself <laughs> that I will not be ordering sugary drinks. So um, if I am going to drink something, I'm gonna bring some of that Mio. So, uh, I can add, if I can have like a vodka water, I could have, I might get like a rum and diet Coke just because uh, I actually don't like those that much. And so I am thinking that that will, I don't really love carbonation. Um, so it'll make me drink it very slowly. Uh, or I could have some wine, but wine tends to lead to not great hangover. So anyways, I am planning to, when I drink, not just, uh, drink like margaritas or, you know, sugary stuff. So I'm feeling better about that. I, I know that there's going to be some swelling. I'm probably going to be going out to eat a few times. Um, I think probably tonight for dinner and then maybe tomorrow for brunch. Um, and we'll generally plan on making good choices, but, uh, that's the, there tends to be sodium. I do just naturally end up eating a little bit more carbs than I would in my normal life. There's glazes, there's sauces, there's dips, there's sides of mashed potatoes that I'll have a few bites of, you know, that kind of thing. But, um, yes, <laughs> basically I am really buckling down. Uh, 
I don't like being over 200. I've got plastics in a month, so uh, we're gonna we're gonna work on this. Um, but yeah, I spent the weekend uh, with my parents, my dad's house, with my sister and her boyfriend, and uh, we had this amazing prime rib. If you follow me on Instagram, uh, I post about the food. My dad is an amazing cook, and so is my stepmom, and so um, she does a lot more baking stuff. So. Yes, yeah, so we had uh, prime rib. We we have a tradition for thing for Christmas where we have uh, soups on Christmas Eve and then uh, prime rib with all the trimmings on Christmas Day. And so we just did that this weekend. Um, but yeah, it was nice to see them. And uh, really just, like I said, my plastic surgery is less than a month away. Uh, so there was a lot of planning for that because my stepmom is the person who will be coming with me. And then my sister is planning to kind of stay with me um, once I return home for a little bit to care for me. So she's a little bit useless. <laughs> um, but yeah, I uh, I know it's close because I had a stress dream while I was at my parents' house. I uh, had this dream that, so uh, there is a person on Instagram, Lisa Gets Fit for Life. I've mentioned her before. I'll try to remember to link her below. She just had um, thigh surgery uh, in November and she's already had... Uh, like her her stomach and her chest done and so i've been watching her stories for the past like month and a half just because uh surgery recovery i find it interesting and that's something that i'm obviously thinking about anyway so in my dream she was the, weirdly there as uh but she was a plastic surgeon and i had my my, my plastic scheduled with galvez and uh for some reason this and she doesn't live anywhere near me but apparently she was like a surgeon who was local and could fit me in like right away. So like with no prep, I just like decide, okay, I'm just going to go get surgery with her. Uh, and it was not good. <laughs> it wasn't like terrible. It was just like, uh, basically I still looked like I had all this loose skin, but it was all smooth. So instead of having like a lot of rolls, it was just like a smooth lump of skin. <laughs> and I had like a very tiny, like, um, Florida de -lis incision, but the incision was like way up high. It was like on my underneath, right underneath my belly button. So it was super obvious. And it was just like a really tiny Fleur de -lis. Um, and I was really upset. And then I was like, oh, well I can just have Galvez fix it. And then, uh, realize like you, he has a rule where you have, you could, you can't have had surgery within the past three months. Um, so then I was like, oh no, my surgery is a month away. And then I remembered that I didn't take any like loose skin videos or photos. So I had nothing to compare it to. And it was, it was kind of a silly dream, but, uh, I'm definitely starting to, to realize that it's about to happen. And I'm very excited, but I'm super, super nervous as well. Uh, just because I just, I know it's going to be, um, a very large mental and physical challenge for me. And, uh, you know, I, I can, can prepare all I want, uh, but to a certain extent, uh, you know, you just can't, you can't, <laughs> you know, you don't know what it's going to be like until you hit it. Just like with, with VSG, like I knew that there was going to be mental stuff, but you just don't really know how it will hit you. Um, and it's really hard until you're like forced to do, eat this way and track this way and do, like do these things to really understand, uh, how that affects you. So I know plastics will be the same way. And it's one of those things where it's like, I know this is going to be a challenge and I'm not totally sure how to prepare for it other than, trying to be open to it, you know? Um, but as far as plastics, I'll do a little update. I think my plan will be to, in these videos, these weekly videos, just give little updates on my plastics to do's just because, um, it's easier than making separate videos. Um, but I have my labs all officially sent. I think I mentioned in my last video that, um, I had my labs done in November and they said that that beginning of November and that that was too early. And so I needed to do it right around a month before surgery. So, um, I messaged my PCP and, um, in Washington state, it turns out you have to all labs for that kind of thing need to be ordered by a doctor. So I couldn't just like go in and do it. And so I had to have a doctor order them. So I had my, um, primary care physician order them for me. I was a little nervous about it. She knows I'm having plastics. Um, and I, I think, I think we've talked about briefly that it was, probably medical tourism, but I don't know that she's like super, super aware. And you know, she's great. I've been with her for a long time. Um, but just broaching the subject of, um, surgery abroad, medical tourism, surgery in Mexico, all that stuff, uh, tends to have a lot of reactions and I just don't want to deal with it. You know, I just, I don't, I, your opinion, I, it doesn't matter to me <laughs> to an extent because I have done all of the research. Uh, I am a very thorough person. I would not be doing this if I thought that there was a significant risk, any other, any more so than, um, 
any surgery and you know I've like I've really done my homework so I to a certain extent I just don't want to hear it <laughs> because uh, I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do so uh, you know there's been no issues she was great but you know it's always a little nerve-wracking um, and because I realized you know they told me this uh, or I realized that I needed to have a doctor referral like last week and then um, was kind of freaking out because we're in time crunch, but she was able to get them in. I went, I had them done and then uh, I sent them and the, um, the surgeon was like, Hey, uh, you have a history of diabetes. You really should, you, we also need you to send the, a an updated AONC just to confirm that that's under control, um, which it is. And it has been, but, um, I messaged my doctor and they were able to add it on. And I thought I was going to have to go in and get another draw, but they had enough of my blood <laughs> to just do a separate A1C. And, uh, it was great. It was like four point something, which still blows my mind um that that I'm no longer diabetic like it's so cool uh so I sent those off so hopefully I'll be hearing back soon <laughs> um I also I forgot to mention this in my plastics prep video but another thing on my list was to cancel or not cancel but suspend my gym membership for the month of February uh because I will not be using it and that's 50 bucks that I could have for myself so uh I just talked to them and they they put in a little thing in there so they um they uh suspended my my account just for the month of february uh you know i don't know that i'll be back to working out in march because that will be like four weeks but like you know i'll hit six weeks in there and i might be at a point where i could like do gentle walking um because it's cold here especially um but we'll see we'll see where i'm at i can always extend that if i need to uh i also notified my credit cards i gave travel notices for the two credit cards i'm planning to take with me um i scheduled my lift chair delivery so um I'm going to be doing, um, there's like medical supply stores that you can rent, um, like those lift chairs, the ones that will like push you up. So I have ordered one of those for again, the month of, for about four weeks. And, um, I'm having it delivered the day before I leave. So it's going to be sitting here for like 10 days without me. But, um, I didn't want my roommate to have to deal with trying to set it up when I'm not here. And I definitely did not want to have to set it up while I, after I had been, you know, butchered. So, uh, I am having that the day before I leave so I can um, be here, help them set it up. And then it'll just be here. And my roommate doesn't care. Um, I've also started buying stuff. So I've started collecting things. I have a little desk area over there where I've started, uh, both gathering things that I already own and um, buying things. Like I said, I will plan on doing a um, what I'm bringing with me and then also what uh, I end ended up actually using. So um, we'll see that. We'll, um, yeah, we'll see how all that goes. And uh, also started uh, making some ideas for meal prep and planning because I am planning to make and freeze a couple of different meals. Uh, I'm thinking maybe like six six meals, not total, but like six different types of meals. And those will all have multiple versions. Um, but I figure, you know, that will be enough. And then on top of once I get here, I'll have them, I'll have my sister get me things like deli meat and cottage cheese and there'll be, um, like eggs and stuff. But I figure, uh, six weeks worth of meals, six weeks worth of a meal, you know, Ugh, you know what I mean? Six different meals, each one for about a week uh, is my plan. So I started kind of um, writing down things. So if you have any suggestions about meals that freeze well and that portion well and that are great macro wise, uh, please leave them down below for me. I would love to hear them. Um, and if you have any suggestions for things that you think that I should be bringing with me or not bringing with me, let me know that too. Uh, like I said, I will be talking about all we I will be making a video about what I'm packing, but that might be a video that comes fairly late just because uh, I'm not packing yet and I don't have everything yet. Um, yeah, I think that's most of everything. I mean, <laughs> one year, 52 weeks. I don't know if you guys noticed that means it's to my two year, <laughs> two year VSG this week. Um, I had my surgery, as I said, on January 2nd. So that will be on Thursday, I believe Thursday. Um, I have my bariatric appointment next week. I think it's after my next weekly update though. So I'll, I'll update you whenever that happens. Um, I am going to be doing a two year video kind of like my, you know, I've been doing one of those kind of quarterly, but I think I'm going to do it towards the end of the month. Cause I'm going to kind of combine my two year with my pre plastics. So I'm going to have, uh, cause I'm going to take before photos, uh, for plastics. So this will kind of be like my two year photos and my pre plastics photos. Um, I just want to do it all at once and uh, same thing with measurements. So I'm just going to do all of that, um, closer towards the end of the month. Um, and then we'll talk a little bit more about how this second year has been, which has been 
super interesting. And so I'm excited to talk about that. Uh, so my second year and then going into plastics. So I think I'll just combine those videos. I think that is everything. Uh, all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are doing amazing. I hope you guys have a wonderful New Year's Eve, if it is still New Year's Eve when you're watching this. Uh, and I hope that your guys' 2020 is just magical. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye!